iron flow structures to design fuel cell flow fields. I want you all to imagine with me for just a second that you're in a grocery store. You're walking around picking out all the food you want, you put it in your cart, go to the front and purchase it, then when you leave the store, you immediately take 70 to 80 percent of all the groceries you just purchased and you throw them in a dumpster. Don't eat them, don't use them in any way, you just throw them away. This is essentially what happens in many combustion-based energy technologies. In order to extract stored energy from a fuel, we burn it. But in the very process of burning that fuel, we generate so much waste heat that we only get a net efficiency of about 20 to 30 percent in the case of uh, automotive engines, at least. Now, how much better would it be if you could keep at least, say, 50 to 60 percent, even half? I mean, it's not great, but it's still better than throwing away 70 to 80 percent. Well, hydrogen fuel cells allow for just this scenario. The way they attain so much better e efficiency is that the combustion step is entirely eliminated in a fuel cell. The reacting gases, hydrogen and oxygen, are never mixed but kept on either side of a thin membrane where an electrochemical reaction takes place which allows electrical energy to be directly produced from the fuel without ever having to burn it. These fuel cells are already in use in many industries, limited in the automotive industry. Uh, they're used in forklifts and industrial, you know, moving things around. They're even on the International Space Station and on space shuttles. However, one major design hurdle to making these uh, hydrogen fuel cells more readily available is that it's very difficult to achieve uniform distribution of the reacting gases on these thin membranes, which is essential for good performance and durability. Now, can you think of an already existing system that is very effective at taking a fluid from a central location and distributing it over a wide extent? Everyone in this room has lungs and a vascular system that's doing just that right now. Your heart pumps fluid from a central location out to the very tips of your fingers and toes in your body, and it does so very effectively. Your lungs take in air at the mouth and distribute them all the, out, all the way out through the ventricles to the alveoli, which are the smallest stacks in your lungs. My thesis work is to study the flow structures in these naturally occurring vascular systems and try to develop design rules whereby we can make flow fields for any size fuel cell that will achieve this kind of uniform distribution that we're looking for. In order to do this, I'm trying to characterize the flow in these branching structures and then apply them to the existing technologies that we use today. This will end up producing flow fields that give uniform distribution, which gives better performance, more reliability, and the end result of all this is that you get to keep more of the food that you put in your cart. Thank you. <laughs>